Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I am Angela. I am a full-time voiceover artist and audiobook narrator, and my channel is dedicated to those of you that are just starting out and want some more information or some more, you know, some more tips on how to get started in this wonderful world of voiceover or audiobook narration. So I've had a question uh, regarding finding children's books in ACX. And I have to tell you that the majority of my children's books come from Fiverr. I've had, um, I don't even know how many there have been, but most of my children's book orders come through Fiverr. Um, maybe one through Upwork. But what we're going to do today is see if we can find some in ACX, because that was pretty much what the question was. So let's get in there and see if we can find some. Okay, so here we are in the titles accepting audition section. I'm going to, again, your filters don't always save for whatever reason in ACX, so I'm going to just go through my filters and make sure that they're all correct and see if we can find some children's books. So first I'm going to go to genre. I'm going to do children's audiobooks, and of course I'm going to exclude erotica and sexuality because those two don't really go together. So let's apply that. And gender, we're going to go female, apply. And then we're going to go to compensation. I'm going to leave that. However, I am going to drill down to English. And let's see, accent. Let's go if there are any general American. So let's stop right there. Okay, so we have five. There aren't a lot for general American, but if you can pull off any of these other accents, then you can apply to those as well. Obviously, if you have a New York accent or if you can pull off a British accent or any of these other accents in here, then definitely check those as well. There are a lot. And that is another question I get a lot is if people can narrate audiobooks with a specific kind of accent or a specific kind of language. Uh, yeah, you definitely can. If we go to language, you have French, German, and Spanish in addition to English. So absolutely, get in there and give it a shot. So I'm going to go back to accent and go American general, see if there's any others that apply. Um, I could do a Western, but let's just stick with, uh, American general. Okay. So we have my neighbor is a werewolf. That looks really cute. The bug who lit Christmas, all the pretty horses, sweet pea and Emma. So what we're going to do is, uh, let's just do the werewolf one because horror. <laughs> Okay, so this book is a royalty share, 1.1 hours in length, 10,000 words. Let's read about this book. This looks super cute. Language is English. They would like a either their preference is male or female. There's no specific uh, character age. They're not looking for really anything specific, although it looks like they have no Amazon ratings yet. They do have a fairly good Amazon sales rank, but that's also because um, more than likely because they had just published it and it looks like they did just a few days before it was posted to ACX. And if you don't know, if you publish a book to Amazon, they start you out at a pretty high sales rank and then it just kind of goes down over time. So being that they had just uploaded this to ACX just a few days ago, which would be explain, which would explain why they have a um, decent sales rank. Um, so let's look at this audition here. I'm going to download the script. All right. This actually looks super cute. So let's do audition for this book. So in Adobe Audition, I'm going to shift control N and we're going to do werewolf. I'm just going to call it, whoops, werewolf audition for right now. 
I'm going to switch my sample rate to 44,100 and my bit depth to 16. And uh, start this recording. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so I can read it a little better because I don't have my eyeballs on. Get my clicker just in case. Because I make boo-boos. I hate school. Miller was walking the football field, cleaning up the equipment left behind, when a football hit him on the back of the head. Don't forget to pick that up, too. Miller looked up to see Stanley Watts laughing at him. He was the star quarterback, but he was mostly known for being the school jerk. Miller ignored Stanley and continued with the job that had been assigned to him. The principal had decided that Miller needed punishing after the comment he had made earlier that day. But why in the world did it have to be becoming the ball? But why in the world did it have to be becoming the ball boy of the football team? Dodgeball, basketball, anything in the world would have been better than where he found himself now. Hey, nerd, Stanley said. I told you to pick that up. Do it yourself, Miller muttered. What did you say? What did you just say? Stanley hissed. Nothing, Miller replied. Stanley picked up another football and threw it, hitting Miller right between the eyes and knocking his glasses off. Miller was angry now, but couldn't show it. He knew he had no chance of winning a fight against the football team, and he really didn't want to take a beating either. Miller, went, Miller bent over and picked up his glasses without looking up at Stanley. Leave him alone, Stanley, the football coach demanded, as his star player looked as though he was about to do something stupid. We have a big game coming up. We have a big game coming up tomorrow night, and I don't need my best player hurt or suspended. Yes, sir, Stanley replied. He turned and looked over at Miller. He turned and looked over at Miller. Today is your lucky day, nerd. But we have all year to get to know each other better. Stanley was laughing as he walked away, his buddies tagging along beside him. Miller finished the job assigned to him and asked the coach if he could leave. He was given the okay, so he grabbed his stuff from his locker and hit the ground running. It didn't take long before he found himself at home. His mom was quick to stop him in his tracks before he headed for his treehouse. You have chores to do, young man, she said. Your little friend can come over when you're done. But mom, we have things we need to get done, he frowned. She held up her finger. First, chores, she insisted. Any homework? Okay, so there is my audition. I did use voices because it was a children's book. I don't necessarily know if the author wanted voices. I'm only assuming because it is a children's book. It's a little bit more engaging when the, cust the customers, <laughs> when the different characters have different voices. They might not even like the voices that I chose. We can always change those later. It's more or less about liking your narrator voice and your, your tone, your pacing, your cadence, and how well you can deliver the story. Um, I could probably give that a little bit more excitement and a little bit more uh, animation in my delivery, but this was an example audition. So, so let's process this and send it over. So I have an audiobook preset. So I'm going to apply that and I will leave the card up above for finding the video that I've already done on creating presets in Adobe Audition. So I'll leave that card above, but let's apply. All right, our rack is applied and as you can see, it reduced the background noise that was um, already fairly minimal, but I'm a little picky when it comes to background noise. Um, but you can still see where I clicked to indicate boo-boos using my handy dandy dog clicker. You could also do uh, punch and roll, which is where you narrate. If you make a boo-boo, you actually stop the recording and then, you know, go back into the sentence where you started to mess up. 
and then re-record from there. But I find personally that this method works better for me, but choose whatever you're more comfortable with. So now that we have this processed, I'm going to go back to the beginning and edit it through. All right, I had to put my ears on so I can hear what I'm listening to. All right, let's just edit through this really quick. Make sure that the first part of the narration, um, I should actually back up and say that I'm going to submit this audition as it would sound for ACX so the client has a good idea of what the final product is going to sound like. So the first part of my narration is going to start between a half a second and a second, and it does just barely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this half second of room tone just in case we need it later. So this was like the title uh, of the chapter. I hate school. <laughs> so I'm going to make this about, uh, well, that's fine, a little over a second long. Miller was walking the football field, cleaning up the equipment left behind when a football hit him on the back of the head. Don't forget to... Don't forget... Don't forget to... I tried a, different, uh, a few different character voices for Stanley, but he sounded like, you know, the typical jerky jock that you have in stories. So I, uh, I'm choosing this last one. Don't forget to pick that up too. Okay, I'm going to reduce some of this pause here. Miller ignored Stanley and continued with the job that had been assigned to him. Okay, so this one, uh, there's a little bit of a breath right here, which I don't have a problem with. However, it looks like there's also a boo-boo here. Oops. But why in the, but why in the world? So I'm going to get rid of this boo-boo, but then also reduce a little bit of this pause. So I'm going to delete that. And there's another boo-boo. I made a lot of boo-boos in this one. Anything in the, anything. There we go. Okay. I'm going to get rid of that boo-boo. Uh, it looks like I had a couple of boo-boos on this one. Anything in the, okay. So I'm going to get rid of this boo-boo as well. All right, looks like here's another one. What did you, what did you, there we go. I think I screwed up the narration of that one. Let's get rid of this big old pause, reduce this the pause a little bit. There's a breath and a big pause. I'm going to get rid of both of those. Uh, that looks like a boo-boo. So let's get rid of that. Uh, reduce this pause a bit. Reduce that pause just a hair. There's another boo-boo. We have a big... We have a big... Okay, get rid of the pause and the boo-boo. Let's see. He turned one. and... He turned... Okay, get rid of that. I'm leaving some of these other pauses in here because this is a children's book. It's going to be a little bit slower paced than a normal narration. So the extra pauses will give it the feeling of being narrated a little bit slower without really being narrated slower. Stanley was laughing as he walked away, his buddies tagging along beside him. Miller finished the job. Okay, so here's another boo-boo. Your little, your little. Okay, we get rid of this pause and kind of a quasi-breath there. Another one. Okay. And then this is a, the end of the audition. So I'm just going to check and see how long this pause is. It's almost four seconds. And I'm looking down here at the duration of my selection. This helps a lot. I don't need it to be four seconds, so we can reduce this a little bit. Okay. Just over two seconds long. Okay, great. And now I'm going to normalize it and then check the amplitude statistics. Boom. And my total RMS amplitude is negative 21.85, which means I am within the range for ACX. So I'm going to save this as I'm going to do werewolf. I'm going to put my name first, Angela Olfest.werewolf.audition. And then we're going to save it as MP3, 44116 bit, 192 kilobytes per second. And okay. Now we're going to submit our audition. 
Okay, while that's uploading, we're going to write a message. Hello, and thank you for reviewing my audition. I can use different character voices or none at all if you prefer. I would love to be your narrator. Thank you for your time, Angela. And now we're going to submit. There's our audition, there's our note, and uh, we're done. So there we go. We just auditioned for a children's book on ACX. So although there's not a lot of selection here on ACX, I mean, it changes daily. So if you really want to narrate a children's book through ACX, you really just need to be in there every single day or sign up for Audiobook Scout. It's a service that you, I think there's a 14-day free trial, but it is a paid service. And you can set different filters for whatever types of book that you want alerts for. And this service will send you an email with books that match your uh, preset filters. So if you're looking for just children's books, or if you're looking for just sci-fi or a certain length of a book, or just royalty share, or just per finished hour, you can set all of those parameters. And every time a book is posted on ACX, the service will send you an email saying, hey, the books that meet your criteria are now available on ACX, so go check them out. And the service will also tell you if the book has a little bit of fishiness to it, meaning if maybe there's a discrepancy in who the author is or something of that nature. So the service audiobookscout.com, I believe, will also alert you if there's something weird going on there. So you might want to stray away from those or dig a little deeper and, um, you know, make your decision on whether or not you want to audition for that book. But there are children's books on ACX. You just have to check it every day because I, I would imagine they probably don't last very long and they're probably not written all that often for audiobooks. But that brings us to the end of this video on finding children's books on ACX. If you have any other questions or comments for me, please leave them down below or you can send me an email if you like. Uh, if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. But I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye.